Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Sure, sure, we don't trigger trade here. Today, I'm playing something I haven't played in a while. I'm really excited for. It's been over 20 years. Metal Gear Solid, the Twin Snakes. So, uh, new viewers, welcome in. Returning viewers, welcome back. Sit back, relax, enjoy the show. Let's do this. I'm here, I just turned the uh, face cam off for uh, commentary purposes, I mean, uh, cutscene purposes. I try to keep the commentary to a minimum, but since there's not too much going on here, I can give you a little bit. You know, this game's like the remake slash remaster uh, MGS1. Uh, I'm gonna keep these videos short, maybe one day in the future I'll stream the, you know, full playthroughs, but I like to keep it for a boss fight. I don't know if it's true or not, but I think Konami is gonna uh, remake slash remaster all MGS games. Starting with, uh, you know, Snake Eater. Chron chronology. You know, in a story order, not actual game order. I don't know if that's true or not. Maybe one day we'll get an MGS. Point Snakes. Re remaster. <laughs> Well, it's like I said, I haven't played this game in 20 years, so I might be a little rusty. Stay alert. He'll be through here. I know it. I'm going to swap down a couple of bothersome flies. The man of the hour. Liquid snake. Now, I know the mechanics is based off of MGS2. I think they released this game around the time MGS3 was coming out. I know Twin Sticks came out between 2 and 3. This is Snake. Colonel, can you hear me? Loud and clear. What's the situation, Snake? Looks like the elevator in the back is the only way up. Just as I expected. You'll have to take the elevator to the surface, but make sure nobody sees you. If you need to, contact me by codec. The frequency is 140.85. When you want to use the codec, push the pause button and then the A button. When we need to contact you, the codec will beep. When you hear that noise, press the pause button and then the A button to receive the call. The codec's receiver directly stimulates the small bones of your ear. No one but you will be able to hear it. Got it. Okay, I'm ready to go. Okay, I had to do some uh, dilly dallying to uh, learn the controls, but uh, that, that little refresher's over. Let's go on with the game. I'll take that ration. Go to the other side real quick. Let's get this RP sensor, which I have no idea if I'm going to be using. Get a uh, quick uh, breath of air. Swing back to the other side. Okay. Let's shoot on over. Get that ration. I see him, he's way back there, okay. Uh-oh. No, there's not somebody there. <laughs> Uh-oh. Nope. Nobody here. Please don't come over here. <laughs> okay, I should be good. Huh? 
Bye bye. Sleep time. Let's get the other one. Drop him, drop him, drop him. 99 time, buddy. Bye bye. Let me see some. Can I pick them up? Oh, they ain't got shit. I think I get him out of the elevator. Uh, let's get in there. There we go. Yep, that, what you just saw was me being rusty. <laughs> I'm not gonna go for a no kills all stun run. I'm just gonna play the game. Imagine if they uh, remade this game in uh, 2024. Or they're going to put this on the Master Collection, too. The only problem with that would be is uh, how is uh, the Nintendo Switch going to play uh, MGS4? time i guess you're feeling a little rusty don't worry it's been a while but it's all coming back to me how's that sneaking suit working out i'm nice and dry but it's a little hard to move bear with it it's designed to prevent hypothermia this is alaska you know take it easy i'm grateful if it weren't for your suit and your shot i would have turned into a popsicle out there an anti-freezing peptide snake all of the genome soldiers in this exercise are using it I see. I'm relieved to hear that. Already tested, huh? By the way, how's the diversionary operation going? Two F-16s just took off from Galena and are headed your way. The terrorist radar should have already picked them up. A Hein D. Colonel, what's a Russian gunship doing here? I have no idea. But it looks like our little diversion got their attention. Now's your best chance to slip in unnoticed. hours left until their deadline. You've got to hurry. Wow, he must be crazy to fly hind in this kind of weather. Who's that? Oh, sorry. I haven't introduced you two yet. This is Mei Ling. She was assigned to us as our visual and data processing specialist. She designed your codec, as well as your soliton radar system. Contact her if you have any questions about either of them. <laughs> nice to meet you, Snake. It's an honor to speak to a living legend like yourself. Put some respect on that name. What's wrong? I'm the Nothing. legend. I just didn't expect a world-class designer of military technology to be so... cute. <laughs> You're just flattering me. 
No, I'm serious. We'll be flattering you later and on. Well, I know I won't be bored for the next 18 hours. What's this? I'm being hit on by the famous Solid Snake? But I'm surprised. I... I didn't think you'd be so frank. Looks like we both have a lot to learn about each other. It does, doesn't it? Well, let's get to know each other better. But first, let me explain about your Soliton radar system. The bright dot in the middle is you, Snake. The red dots are your enemies, and the blue cone shape represents their field of vision. Be careful, Snake. The genome soldiers have highly developed senses of hearing and vision due to their gene therapy. Make sure you don't let them see you. First, I want you to infiltrate the disposal site and look for the DARPA chief. The DARPA chief was injected with the same GPS transmitting nanomachines as you. He should appear on your radar as a green dot. Get whatever information you can from him about the terrorists. If he's alive, that is. Snake, your radar isn't affected by the weather, but if you're discovered by an enemy, you won't be able to use it. Yes, it gets jammed easily, I'm afraid. Yes, it's all made from currently existing technology. You won't be able to use it in an area with strong harmonic resonance, so be careful. I'll be monitoring your movements by radar. So contact us by codec anytime you want. Got it. I'll call if I'm feeling lonely. Seriously, Snake. We're here to back you up, so call if you need some information or advice. I'm also in charge of your mission data. Contact me if you want me to save your current status. My frequency is 140.96. It's a dedicated frequency for saving data. Don't forget it. Remember, except for your binoculars, you need to arm yourself with whatever weapons you can find. I remember. First, I'm strip-searched by Dr. Naomi here. Then all my weapons are taken away. Imagine yourself put in that position. Well, if you make it back in one piece, maybe I'll let you do a strip-search on me. Mm, I'll hold you oh. to that, Doctor. By the way, point. sorry to disappoint you, but I did manage to smuggle out my smokes. How did you do that? In my stomach. Thanks to the shot you gave me that suppressed my stomach acids. Cigarettes? Well, for really How a whole pack of cigarettes. You? you never know. If you want to get in, there's the front door. It's the fastest way, but there's too much risk of being spotted by the enemy. Yeah, Secure facility, but yeah, they got the front door correct. I never me. did get that. What about the air duct near the door? One sentry on the left, and one on the right. I'm old school, we're going upstairs on the second floor. Five, five, sixers and pineapples. There should also be a duct on the second floor. I can't see it from here. I'll let you decide the best COA. I'm counting on you, Snake. We're ready. Let's equip this bad boy. So if we uh, new design out from the uh, original Metal Gear Solid 1. him asleep. He's out. Jump up here. Get that so calm. Oh boy over there slipping. Night night. Watch out for that camera. A surveillance camera. Wait till it faces back the other way. Ooh, that was close. I don't want to be in the view of that thing. Take those stones. Set that camera face back. Get this thing in the middle of the heliport. I'll take that. Uh, 
Ugh, I gotta wait for those things to go across. There we go. No, there's another camera somewhere. Okay, he's over there. Let's drop him. Are you going to sleep? Yep, he's going to sleep. Ugh. Almost forgot how to hit codec. That base must have some kind of ventilation system to recirculate the air. There should be air ducts around there somewhere. They you must think? need a lot of power to run the base. There's probably a diesel generator somewhere. And since generating electricity requires oxygen, there must be exhaust openings for that, too. You're not going to believe this, but they shot down the F-16s we were using as a diversion with a Hein D. Impressive. Then we got a message from Liquid. He said if we try something like that again, he'll launch the nuke. Snake, hurry up and get in there. That hind will be coming back soon. Okay, I am out of... Socom. I mean, uh, out of, uh, what's that, M9? Now, I don't think there's any rewards for non-lethals. Okay. Doo -doo. Okay, what do you want? Snake, this is McDonald Miller. It's been a long time. Master, what are you doing here? I quit being a boot camp instructor, so I moved out here for some peace and quiet. I'm in retirement, just like you. Once in a while, I still help train the Alaskan scouts. Mm. Passing on the skills to a new generation, huh? Campbell told me about the situation here. I thought I might be of some use. There's no one I'd rather have in a foxhole than you. Well, I know lots about survival in a harsh environment. I've lived in Alaska longer than you. So call me if you have any questions about the flora or fauna out here. I'm not going to be asking you about flowers, buddy. Okay. If you ever get bored, the codex are uh, a thing to listen to, but... Trying to beat the game. I moved the DARPA chief to the cell in the first floor basement. What about the vent shaft cleaning? Oh, they just opened the vent covers. They're about to start spraying for rats. First floor basement ventilation shaft. Shut those covers as soon as they're done spraying. Also, keep your eye on that woman in the cell. Don't get careless now. Woman in the cell? Did something happen? There's an intruder. <coughs> oh boy, paranoid. Really? He's already done three people. He's done? killed three people? Oh, killed, yeah. okay. <laughs> say he's using stealth, too. Stealth? There's an intruder besides me? Anyway, I want you to increase the security detail on the chief. And continuing on. Do -do. Yeah, this first uh, part, there's no, there's no boss in it. It's gonna be, I'm gonna uh, end the video after the, uh, we uh, see the Dark Chief. Well, uh, every video after this one will be a guaranteed boss fight. Ugh. Press the action button to drop down. Okay. I don't have to uh, drop down just this shit. Anything over here? Obviously not. It's a dead fucking end. Why did I just do that? Send back up. I have oh, what do you want? Use the elevator to change floors. There should be a cargo elevator that you can take down somewhere around there. Try to find it. 
Sounds like a plan. Let's get those chaff grenades. Go in here. Put that camera to face the other direction. That's gonna come in much handiness. Jump. Go, 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 go. Almost just got spotted just now. There's one over there to the left. I see him on the radar. Come on, he's right there. There we go. Let's go to the basement number one. Okay. Should be free of enemies here. What the fuck do you want now? Look at the radar. It's picking up the DARPA chief. He's the green dot. Hurry and rescue him. It's not like he's going anywhere. Of course that would be locked. What was I thinking? Oh, we're not getting that one. Do -do. Anything to the left? Let's go left first. Oh, a little cutscene. Damn cold. Hey man, we get to stare at another man's I wiener. I hate Alaska. <laughs> boy, oh boy, that woman is built all right. That must be Johnny. Okay, let's get this box. Definitely can use some M9s. Ugh. But that's not gonna help me. This next part is gonna come up. I'm just gonna kill him. Fuck it. Do do do. Dark Chief. Pet scene. Yeah, cakes all on my face. Careful, it's 2024. It's a cancelable offense. <laughs> Continuing on. Cutscene. Huh? This is actually technically our first boss fight because that's Decoy Octopus. It's like the first boss of the game that dies, but you didn't personally kill him yourself. That? I'm here to save you. You're the DARPA chief, Donald Anderson, right? You're here to save me, huh? What's your outfit? I'm the pawn they sent in here to save your worthless butt. Really? It's true. You don't look like one of them. In that case, hurry up and get me out of here. Slow down. Don't worry. First, I want some information about the terrorists. The terrorists? Do they really have the ability to launch a nuke? What are you talking about? 
The terrorists are threatening the White House. They say if they don't accede to their demands, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. Sweet Jesus. Is it possible? It's possible. They could launch a nuke. Got an eavesdropper. How do they plan to launch? I thought this place was just for the keeping of dismantled warheads. They shouldn't have access to a missile. That's the official story. Got it. We were conducting exercises with a new type of experimental weapon. A truly historical weapon. What? A weapon with the ability to launch a nuclear attack from any place on the face of the Earth. A nuclear-equipped walking battle tank. Metal Gear. It can't be. Looks like it can be. You knew? Metal Gear is one of the most secret black projects. How did you know that? We've had a couple of run-ins in the past. So that's the reason you are here at this disposal site? Why else would I come to a godforsaken place like this? I had heard that the Metal Gear project was scrapped. On the contrary, it's grown into a huge joint project between arms tech and ourselves. We were going to use this exercise as raw data, and then proceed to mass production. If it hadn't been for the revolution... Revolution? Rex has fallen into the hands of terrorists. Rex? Metal Gear Rex, the code name for the new Metal Gear prototype. They've probably already finished arming the warhead they plan to use with Rex. These guys are pros. They're all experienced in handling and equipping nuclear weapons. Hey, shut up in there, will ya? Snake is smooth as hell, I ain't gonna lie. I got up there that fast as beyond me. But I thought that all nuclear warheads were equipped with safety measures. Some kind of detonation code that you have to input. Oh, you mean PAL. Yes, of course. There is a PAL. It's set up so that you need to input two different passwords in order to launch the device. There are two passwords? Yes. Baker knows one, and I know one. Baker? The president of arms tech? That's right. Each of us needs to input our password, or there can be no launch. But... <laughs> they found out my password. You talked? Psychomantis can read people's minds. You can't resist. Psychomantis? One of the members of Foxhound. He has psychic powers. This is bad. You think? It's just a matter of time before they get Baker's too. If they find out Baker's password... Yes. They'll be able to launch a nuke any time. But there is a way to stop the launch. What? The card keys. Card keys. They were designed by Arms Tech, the system developers, as an emergency override. Even without the passwords, you can just insert the card keys and engage the safety lock. And if I do that? Yes. You can stop the launch. Damn, bitch, get out of business. card key. So where are the card keys? Baker should have them. Listen. 
You need three card keys. There are three different slots to put them in. You need to insert a card into each one of them. Okay, three card keys. Do you know where they might be keeping Baker? Somewhere in the second floor basement. Second floor basement? I heard the guards say they moved him into an area that has a lot of electronic jamming. Any other clues? Yes. They cemented over the entrances, but didn't have enough time to paint them. Why don't you look for the areas where the walls are a different color? Here, take this. It's my ID card. It'll open any level one security door. It's called a pan card. It works together with your body's own electrical field. Personal area network, huh? It transmits data using the salts in your body as a transmission medium. As you approach the door's security devices, they'll read the data stored in the card. And the doors will open automatically. Gotcha. Okay, I'm gonna get you out of here. Wait a minute. What is it? You haven't heard any other way to disarm the pal, have you? From your bosses or anyone? No. Are you sure you haven't heard anything? I I'm just pretty sure, said motherfucker. No. So, does the White House plan to give in to the terrorist demands? That's their problem. It has nothing to do with my orders. But what about the Pentagon? Pentagon? Uh oh. What is it? That's me after eating Taco Bell. She thinking that we in here doing something else. Hey, what happened? And that bitch not loud as hell. Oh, uh, 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 there goes one boss, decoy octopus. Cause that's who that really is. I wonder if we actually would have fought Decoy Octopus. What kind of uh, enemy you'd have been like? Huh? Dead. Yeah, that bitch definitely did. Naomi, the chief, what happened? I... Uh, I don't know. It looked like a heart attack, but... A heart attack? No! Colonel, are you hiding something from me? Absolutely not, Snake. You've got to understand. This counter-terrorist op is security level red. You'll need the highest security clearance to learn the real story. You want me to believe that you're in charge of this op, but you don't have complete access to the file? I told you, the Secretary of Defense is in operational control. I'm just here as your support. That sounds good. Snake, we don't have time to debate. Get out of there and find President Baker. All right. <clears throat> I was not trying to do that. Oh boy, over there getting his ass whooped. Let's get that ration. Okay, if you could let me out, that'd be nice. Down the ass up. So you killed the chief, you bastard. It's not like his name was Kenny or anything. Liquid? No, you're not. Don't move. Is this the first time you ever pointed a gun at a person? Your hands are shaking. <sighs> 
Ooh. Oh, okay, she knows a little something, something. And I know a little something, something, too. Can you shoot me, rookie? Careful. I'm no rookie. Liar. Your eyes wander. There's no confidence in them. The eyes of a rookie. You've never shot a person, have you? You talk too much. You haven't even taken the safety off, rookie. I told you I'm no rookie. You're not uh -oh. one of them, are you? Open that door. You Only in the doggy style you? position. Why? So we can but get the, the hell out of here. Be a little delayed. Uh. What are you doing? Don't think. Shoot. Okay. Ah. Bitch, take it. No, you don't. Oh, I'm out of bullets. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Bye bye, bitch. What are you waiting for? Shoot! Don't yeah, shoot. Like I'll go in the corner in the doggy style position. I'm telling you, shoot! Impressive. Bitch! Oh, I'm out of bullets. I'll take that. Yeah, you kill them all. Take my bullets. I mean, uh, take my kills. Any more ammo? Well, she's got this. There we go. Take that. And... Uh, uh, well, this ain't no fun. She took most of the kills. You think you got them all? Looks like it. Thanks for the help. Thanks for taking Wait. my kills. Mm hmm, yeah. Uh oh. Who are you? Psycho Menace. Get that detonation code. Boss, I have a good idea. First, yeah, Psycho Man has had the potential to rule the world. And yet, yeah, chose to work for somebody. Damn music. Just like that. That's what she said last night. <laughs> some kind of hallucination. Is it from the nanomachines? No, Snake. 
The nanomachines are functioning properly. So what was it? It must have been psychometric interference coming from Psychomantis, Foxhound Psychic. Think of it as a mental feedback loop. So, that was Mantis. Okay. Let's see if there's any more goodies. What do we got in here? M9 bullets. We got a book. Nice. Let's take a look at old boy right here. Yeah. This has got to be embarrassing for you. <laughs> okay. Let's go into this bid. Anything under here? No, obviously not. Let's go check this other one again, just in case something spawned under there. Nope. Let's go back into this room. Nope, there's nothing. Okay, let me find a little spot to save. Mailing. What's up, Snake? Let's save. New file. Alrighty. Snake, remember what De Gaulle said. The graveyards are full of indispensable men. Snake, you're all alone and surrounded by bad guys. Try to be careful and avoid getting into a fight whenever you can. You're right. Wow. You know all sorts of great quotes, don't you? <laughs> well, both my parents are from Guangdong, China, but I was born and raised in America. I've always liked reading literature from both sides. Kind of keeps me in touch. Not wrong I'll with share that. some more quotes with you if you like. I'm looking forward to it. But to tell you the truth, I'd like to learn more about you. Mm -hmm, yeah. Well, I'll think about it. Well, that's just fucked up. Alrighty, this is the Trick or Treat here. I'm going to go ahead and end the video. Thanks for watching. Uh, as I said, I'm going to do this like per boss fight. This is just like the introduction of the game. I Me mean, personally, I hate the uh, intros of Metal Gear games, but uh, it's going to pick up after this. So uh, if you enjoyed the view, please thumbs up, comment, share, subscribe, and uh, I'll be seeing you in the future on some more epic gaming adventures. Peace.